Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have a cutting board and a chef's knife to test. This cutting board is made of 100% pure titanium. It's from Nafanier. It's not porous, so it's more hygienic. You can't scratch it. You can't cut it. You can't flake bits of it off into your food. Apparently you can just rinse it off and you're ready for the next use. I've never used a titanium cutting board before, but we're going to give it a try today. This is the Cuisine Pro Damashiro 4.5 inch chef's knife, or 12 centimeters if you prefer. It comes in this nice presentation box, and as we open it up, we can see some documentation about the knife here, and a impenetrable <laughs> box that holds the knife inside. Uh, this it will hold it in place, but in order to get it out, you have to dump it upside down. This is the highest quality 420J2 steel. It's rigorously tested to meet the Rockwell 53 scale for hardness. It's ice hardened and double sharpened with a traditional Japanese leather sharpening process. It's crafted with one piece of seamless stainless steel. It's designed for slicing, dicing, and mincing. This four and a half inch blade seems like a good size to cut these baby potatoes in half. I'm curious if this titanium cutting board will damage the blade of the knife. Uh, I'm not sure if you would notice right away or if it's just not a concern, but I mean, I'm so used to plastic boards or wooden boards that um, I'm just, I, I don't know how to react to this, but um, it seems to be working well enough. It seems to cut better if I rest my finger on the top of the blade here, but it's so thin that it, it's a little bit uncomfortable to do that for me. I rinsed the cutting board, didn't scrub it, came right off. I, I, I really didn't expect any problems with that. It was just some potato starch. But I'm going to move on to the carrots now, which should be more of a challenge for this knife. I'm not even sure. This is a smaller knife than I would normally use for cutting carrots. But um, the, this is what I'm testing today, so I'm going to use it. When you're cutting with this knife, I don't know how you can get around it. You do have to rest your finger on the top or you don't have any power. So that's just the way it is. This knife is probably not the best choice for cutting carrots, but it got the job done. Next, I will peel and mince garlic. That should work well with this style of knife. Rinse. Minced. This is a large onion for a four and a half inch knife. We'll see what happens. As I was cutting inappropriately sized produce, it occurred to me that this knife would probably be best for smaller jobs like slicing strawberries. Now I've used this cutting board to cut potatoes, carrots, garlic, and onions. They say that none of those flavors are going to be trapped on the surface of this titanium cutting board. Now I'm going to cut a strawberry. Let's just see <laughs> if any of the uh, residual flavors are transferred to the strawberry. 
Another thing I noticed when cutting strawberries, I'm not putting so much pressure on my fingertip here. So it's not a big deal to have my finger resting on top of the blade. That's, I feel better about that. So the, the problem isn't with the knife. I was just using the knife incorrectly. And I knew that going in, but I just wanted to test <laughs> this knife with what I needed to do today. So this, uh, this is the bonus strawberry. Let's, let's see if, uh, Let's see if the bonus strawberry tastes like onions and garlic. Strawberry is good. However, I didn't account for the fact that my fingers smell like onions and garlic. <laughs> I'm going to, <laughs> I'm not going to blame that on the cutting board. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are hairline scratches on the surface of the titanium cutting board. They're, they're just barely there. And as hard as I was whacking on this thing, I am not surprised. <laughs> I think the point is that there's not enough damage to the cutting board to transfer any of the material to your food. And I believe that. If you are interested in this knife, you probably already know that I shouldn't have done just about everything I did with it. But... Uh, it did work well for the strawberries, and I'm sure for other soft uh, produce it would work equally as well. Uh, green pepper, uh, bell pepper, uh, any, pe any kind of pepper I think would work well with this knife. It, is, uh, it has these grooves cut in the blade, so it might work well with um, say tomatoes or maybe cheese, I don't know. But it's, it's a pretty blade. It's, I, I like that it's all one piece of metal, so there's no blade that can come loose. They say that it is dishwasher safe, and that's good because <laughs> I hate washing knives by hand. I'll do it if I have to, but um, I don't think I will with this one. The only problems I ran into with this knife is when I was using it inappropriately. You're not going to have the same power that you do with uh, an eight inch chef's knife or something like that. And I, I did complain about some discomfort as I had my finger on the top of this blade. But again, I was really pressing hard into my carrots to get those things cut up. And you wouldn't be using this knife with carrots. Stick to your softer produce and I think this would be a fine choice. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this a five out of five. I think this is a beautiful blade that I will enjoy having in my collection. The Nifinir cutting board performed well. Obviously, I have the smaller size, which does limit what you can do with it. It did get some hairline scratches on there, but nothing I am concerned about. It did rinse off very easily. I... I'm still going to use uh, soap and water when I'm done with this to, to fully cleanse it, but I'm not even sure I have to, and I'm just going to. Um, I, as far as I can tell, the metal surface did not damage my knife, but I'm not sure if I would notice that today. This is, might be something that you would compare down the line, um, but I sharpened my knives anyway, so it's probably... Who cares? <laughs> I like the handle. These rubber bumpers on the corners lift up the cutting board slightly, uh, which makes it easy to pick up. It also makes the cutting board resistant to sliding across the surface of your countertop. I like that. I can't think of a reason to not recommend this cutting board. I'm going to give it a five out of five. <laughs>